Hi everyone, this is Mindy Egan for My Favorite Things and today I'm going to be creating this really sweet fall scene using stamps and dies from My Favorite Things. First, I'm going to show you the products that I will be using, which is Hoodie Weather Stamp Set. I really loved these images. I thought they'd be great for coloring with Copic markers. I also have the Winter Trees die and the Grassy Terrain die. I stamped out the images on 80-pound white cardstock using the My Favorite Things Extreme Black ink and then coloring with my Copic markers, starting with the skin tone, which I have E04, E11, and I think it was E01. When picking my marker colors for the sweater and the pants, I already had in mind the colors I wanted to use in the background, which was going to be kind of an orangish yellowish blend. So that is why I decided to go with this kind of mossy green color for a shirt. And honestly, these are colors that I do not hardly ever use. So it was really nice to bring these out into a fall project, really get more use out of my markers since these ones surprisingly are still really nice and fresh. The tips are really good and they colored beautifully considering that I don't use them and I've had my markers for well over 10 years. For the pants, I was going for kind of some khaki colored pants. So I used, I believe it was E55, 53, and 51. And then for the hair, I'm bringing in some really dark browns. This little guy's hair is super cute and most times when I see a hairstyle like this, I can kind of find a hairline to start and end my flicks from. This one was a little trickier, so I just kind of filled it in. I didn't really add any flicks with my light color, which was the E74. I'm also going to use these same colors for his boots and I'm going to have the highlight color or my lightest color be towards the outside. Now for the adorable little fox, I really wanted to try and limit the amount of markers that I'm using. I tend to do a three color blend. That's just kind of my habit, how I started learning. So for this little guy though, I knocked it down to two and I really wish I would have used three. I did stick with the two, but it was just a little bit harder to blend. I still have a nice um, kind of shadow area and highlight area. So he still turned out really cute. Now up for the squirrel, I honestly thought this was a skunk at first because just of the way the markings were on the head and the tail, but I did color it as a squirrel, adding kind of that light tone to the front and then adding a dark brown to the tail and that little peak that comes down on the face. So after I have the little guy colored and my cute little critters, I'm going to come in with just a very light pink. And I'm going to add that to the ears, nose, and the cheeks of the squirrel and the box. And then bringing in a light gray and just adding some light flicks to that to add some sort of texture to that. I'm going to use the coordinating dies to die cut up my images just by lining them up, holding them in place with a low tech tape, and running them through my die cut machine. Now for my fall scene for my card. So I went ahead and die cut out these trees. These are the winter trees die cut out from white cardstock and I'm taking a blending brush and adding on some pumice stone just to one side. I'm going to keep that kind of shadow side to the same side of each tree. So all of it's going to go on the right hand side. I'm not going to add a ton of it because I just want a little bit. Most of that tree I want white. Now for the actual background, I have 80 pound white cardstock once again starting at the very top with dried marigold and these are all the distress oxides. Then I'm bringing in squeeze lemonade. I don't have to go all the way down to the bottom of the cardstock because that is going to get covered up with grass. Now I wanted a little bit more contrast to this so I'm bringing in worn lipstick and adding that up towards the top and then I'm going to go back over the colors and I think my favorite out of all of this is when that dried marigold meets worn lipstick. It's my favorite fall combination. For the grass that I'm going to add to my scene, I die cut this out from the Grassy Terrain die. And for this, I am using Crushed Olive. This is another color I don't tend to grab very often, but it does work really well with fall scenes. So once again, using a blending brush, and I'm just adding it to the very top of the grass. Now, before I get too much further with my card, I'm going to take my background and I just have it placed over some paper towel. And on an acrylic block, I'm putting a little bit of white glimmer metallic ink. Mix that with some water and I'm splattering that over the background. Now be sure so I don't uh, smear it. I'm just going to heat that up with my heat tool to dry it off a little quicker. I'm going to start adhering everything together. So I have my plan in mind of where I wanted everything to be. I needed grass in the background so I'm attaching that with my tape runner. 
adding in one of these winter trees. So I'm going to have two trees on one side and then just one on the other. And off screen, I had die cut out kind of a frame using the watercolor wash freeform die. And that's going to be the window that I'm going to add on top. So every now and then you'll see me bring that in and I'm just testing out to make sure that the trees are still inside of that frame that we can see everything. Once I have the trees placed, I can add in my other layer of grass. Next, I can work on attaching my little boy here and then the cute critters. Both are getting applied with some regular tape runner. I'm going to be popping up my frame, so I don't want to have too much dimension from the characters inside of that. So I line the back of that frame with foam tape, and I believe this is uh, the frame is cut to four by five and a quarter inches. Once I remove the backing of that foam tape, I'm going to line this up over the area of my cardstock that I want showing through that frame. And then I'll just take that over to my paper trimmer and trim off any of the excess. Then I can take some tape runner again, add it to the back of this, and attach it to a card base I created out of white cardstock. So this is going to measure four and a quarter by five and a half. Now my last thing I need to do is just add a sentiment. So I picked this Hello Friend, which is also off of the Hoodie Weather stamp set. I prepped some dark brown cardstock with an anti-static powder tool. I'm stamping that sentiment in some white pigment ink and then sprinkling on some gold embossing powder. After I tapped off the excess, my heat tool is nice and warmed up. I can bring that over and melt the embossing powder. I will usually wipe this down afterwards with a Swiffer cloth just to remove any excess powder. And then I'm taking this over to my mini paper trimmer and trimming this down into a thin strip. I'm going to line the back of that with some foam squares and I'm going to place this just right over where the little boy's hands are. Now I think there's a die in there that actually um, is separate and will cut the hands so you can stick things in there like he's holding it. But I thought it would just be super cute to put the sentiment right there. And that's going to finish up my card project for you for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for joining me.